Hi, and welcome to the Sabbath Christian Church's online sermon. In the beginning was the Word. People take that and make some interesting translations out of it. But we are our language, our word, our actions. I mean, word is not just verbal. It is things that a person does. Uh, we, we know all of that thing. But to go into this and examine that God's word <clears throat> is unchanging. He is the supreme being. He is the creator. And his word continues. At the beginning, was he, he, he is language. And the, the language also has a physical aspect of it, as we just said. And the word was with God, and the word was God. He is his language. Uh, now, how powerful and important is this word? It says here in Matthew, For truly I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or stroke shall pass from the law until all is accomplished. Now, he says, till heaven and earth pass away, according to Revelation, heaven and earth will be changed. Earth will be destroyed and become spiritual. As we have talked about things being new, there will be a new earth and a new heaven. And the word will remain unchanged until all is accomplished. The first time it occurs in the Lord's recorded teaching that the expression, the supreme legislative authority, this word does not go away. It is the moral law, higher to authority, strictly divine. That's God's law advanced. It is the most perfect law possible, unchanging, completely, completely existent. For when we observe the law, the law, the we become the language. When we observe the law, we become the language. Uh, <clears throat> when we don't steal, thou shall not steal. When we don't steal, our whole being doesn't steal. We become a part of the law. The law within and the law without. The law in our mind, the law in our bodies. God asserts it as his prerogative to give law to man, <clears throat> to men and women. It starts off, uh, as Leviticus says, Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the sons of Israel and say to them, I am he. I am the Lord your God. There is one individual person whose every action and word exemplifies him the most perfect there is to be and that we can imitate and act upon. You shall not, you shall not do what is done in the land of Egypt where you lived before, nor are you to do what is done in the land of Canaan, which they're going to, which goes back to Abraham again. An amazingly important person that we are working on. Where I'm bringing you, you shall not walk in their statues. Not their statues, his statues, the eternal law, the perfect law, the unchanging law. He said, you, shall, uh, you are to perform my judgments and keep my statutes to live according with them, in accord, in, in accord with them, or in accordance with them. I can mess around a little bit with the uh, English language here. I am the Lord your God. He is the one. And he presented himself to Israel from Noah down through Abraham and Moses to Israel. Uh, Israel is uh, uh, not a result of uh, Moses, but he was their leader, physical leader at that time. 
And the further on Leviticus says, you shall thus observe all my statutes and all my ordinances and do them. Why? I am the Lord. That's why. And later on in Leviticus, he says, here, this, these are some of the things you're not to do. You're not to make yourselves idols, nor shall you set yourselves up for yourselves an image, or a sacred pillar, or a sacred tree, or figured stones in your land to bow down to it. I am the Lord your God. Because this is what happened with Aaron. They went back to the past. He says, you shall, gets back to this, you shall keep my Sabbaths and reverence my sanctuary. I am the Lord. He is the one. He is the creator. He is the all-knowing and the all-giving. If you walk in my statutes and keep my commandments so as to keep them out, then I shall give you the rains in their season so they have food. Uh, so that the land will yield its produce and the trees of the field will bear their fruit gives us life. His word, his way. He created the word. He said it. And the, uh, all the, uh, and everything happened in the creation. I am the Lord your God, further in Leviticus, who brought you out of the land of Egypt so you would not be their slaves. And I broke the bars of your yoke to make you walk erect. But if you do not obey me and do not carry out all these commandments, he goes on and says it again and again. It's, it's just so important. Instead, you reject my statutes. If you reject my statutes, and if my soul abhors my ordinances, oops, I lost. And so as not to carry out all my commandments, and so to break my covenant. The, the commandments are a covenant. This is an agreement. God gives us of himself, his word, his everlasting word. He gives that to us, and us having that from him makes us a part of the covenant of life, eternal life. He says, uh, I in turn will do this to you. I will appoint you a sudden terror, consumption, fever, and waste away your eyes. All the bad things come, especially to the people who ought to know better, people who don't know. I uh, have all these problems and everything else too. But he, these people were selected, gave them the word, did all these things for them. He said, I'll set my face against you. And those who hate you will rule over you and you will flee when no one is pursuing you. The connection with God gives us life, physical life and eternal life. When shall the laws remain steadfast? Until heaven and earth pass away. And Matthew goes on to say, do not suppose that you can say to yourselves, we have Abraham for our father. Back to Abraham again. So important a person. And then, as we've noted before, we say it again. For I say to you that from these stones God is able to raise up children to Abraham. Not only did he, could he raise up the stones, but he raised up Gentiles to be children of Abraham. How important is Abraham? to those who keep God's word, keep his word, everlasting word. For of old you founded the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. His language, his words, even they will perish, but you endure, and all of them will wear out like garments, like clothing. You will change them, and they will be changed. God gave his word to people, and while everything else goes away, to remain in the image of God in every word, physical, verbal, mental, spiritual, and every way, your years will not come to an end. Amen. And thank you for watching and listening.